y'all. Welcome back to Everyday Mama. I'm Leanne, and today I'm going to show you how to make delicious taco cupcakes. Let's get started. To make these simple taco cupcakes, you're going to need a few ingredients. You're going to need some meat, or taco seasoning, tomatoes and peppers if you like those, shredded cheese, black beans and corn, sour cream, lettuce for toppings, crescent rolls for the cupcake part, and then some cool ranch Doritos for an extra special bonus. You will also need a cupcake tin and a frying pan. When you get the crescent rolls out, they're going to come out in triangles like this. You're just going to want to press the seam together so it becomes one rectangle full of um, dough. And then you're just going to cut it to make two squares. Now we're going to go and line these cupcake tins with the squares. Very, very simple. Just put it in there. It does not have to be neat and pretty. And you're going to do that with all 12. Once you have all of them lined, now you're going to take your corn and your beans and spoon them in to each round. When this step is done, you can use the leftover corn and all you have to do is pour it inside the beans, mix this up, add a little bit of cheese on top, and you can microwave this um, for a side dip with some chips. Second thing you want to do is brown your meat. We use the organic grass-fed hamburger from Walmart. You can get the same thing at Aldi. It's about the same price. And then you're going to want to drain the grease and fat from the bottom and put it to the side. When browning your meat, you can add some taco seasoning mix if you would like, just to add some great flavor. While you're browning your meat, you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 or whatever it says on the can of your crescent rolls. The next step, you are going to pour spoonfuls of the meat into each round. You can really add anything in these rounds that you would like. As you can see over here, I added some green pepper and tomato for my husband and I, but left them more plain for my son. I will be adding cheese next. Now that all of the rounds are filled with the crescent rolls, the cheese, the beans and corn, and the meat, I'm going to put the other set of crescent rolls on top. You're gonna to do the same thing with the crescent rolls for the top. Just push them together and cut them into halves or thirds and place on top. As you can see, I just threw the crescent roll squares on top. You don't have to make them perfect. They come out beautiful anyway. All right, let's get these in the oven. You're gonna to wanna to bake these for nine to 11 minutes or whatever your crescent roll can says. While those are cooking, go ahead and get your toppings ready. You'll need whipped cream, lettuce, tomato, and I've crushed up some Cool Ranch Doritos. They make a perfect crunchy topping. They're out of the oven. Aren't they beautiful? They smell amazing. All right, we've got these taco cupcakes plated up. Got some Valentine's skewers on top because it's almost that time of the year. Got the toppings in the back and some cute little Valentine's muffin liners. And I sprinkled the plate with Cool Ranch chips to make it even more delicious. I really do hope you guys will try this at home. Let me know if you substitute any ingredients out for something new or if you add anything. I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Here's the kid version since my son doesn't like sour cream and tomatoes. You ready to eat? Yes. Enjoy! 
Thank you. Wishing you and your family lots of simplicity, progress, and joy.